Let's assemble a pyoreactor. Here's everything you'll receive with your pyoreactor. A hat PCB, bottom face plate, two PD cables with dark colored bulbs and one IR cable with a clear bulb, LED pocket caps, a bag containing nuts, screws, and other important small pieces, your vial holder with vial and stir bar, a fan and top faceplate, and a thermal pad, heating PCB, and flex cable. These come as three separate pieces. You'll also need a few items that won't come with your pyoreactor. You'll need a Raspberry Pi and SD card, a small screwdriver, and a power source for your Raspberry Pi. Let's start by assembling the hat and Raspberry Pi. For this, we'll start with your bottom faceplate, your Raspberry Pi, and your bag of screws. Let's grab four of the 10 millimeter screws. You can use your diagram to figure out which ones those are. Take your bottom faceplate and secure four of those 10 millimeter screws onto it using the hex nuts. You want the head of the screws on the flat side of the faceplate. It's going to look like this. Fit your Raspberry Pi onto those screws. You want the GPIO pins to sit along the indented portion of the faceplate. Grab four of your hex standoffs with screw. They'll look like this. Screw those on to secure the Raspberry Pi to the faceplate. You should have something that looks like this. Next, grab your hat PCB. You wanna fit this on to the Raspberry Pi GPIO pins. And here's a tip. Don't worry about getting it to fit snug just yet. We can let the hex standoffs do that for us. So grab four of your hex standoffs. You can twist those on to the four screws to secure your hat PCB to the Raspberry Pi. Now you'll have something that looks like this. Let's move on to the next stage, assembling the wetware. You'll need your heating PCB, thermal pad, and flat flex cable. You'll need to secure the thermal pad to the heating PCB. To do this, remove the clear plastic to reveal the sticky side. Place that on to the flat part of the heating PCB. Press gently to secure. Remove the blue protective plastic on top of the thermal pad. On the cable connector, pull the beige colored tabs out to open it. Insert the cable into the cable connector, then push the tabs inward to secure. Take your vial holder and feed the cable through the small slat on the side. You want the blue part of the cable facing up. When you pull the cable through, you'll have the thermal pad facing up. Take two of your four millimeter screws to secure the heating PCB to the vial. Okay, let's start putting it all together. Orient the vial holder so that the flex cable is on top of the arrow. Secure the vial holder onto the faceplate by tightening the screws. Do not over tighten. The head of the screws should be flush with the faceplate. Let's attach the vial holder to the hat. Place the vial holder onto the hat so that the GPIO pins align with the indented part of the faceplate. Secure it with your 6mm screws. When you're done, it'll look like this. Let's open the flat flex cable connector on the hat by pulling the tabs out. Insert the flex cable with the copper side up and push the tabs in to secure. Insert the stirring power connector into PWM channel one, which is unlabeled. Let's get the optic system going. Insert the dark PD cables into PD channel one and PD channel two. Take the clear IR cable and put it into channel A. Now take the dark colored bulb of the PD cable in channel two and insert it into the pocket labeled 90 degrees. Bend the wire so that you can fit the pocket cap on top.
Let's take the clear bulb of the IR cable and place it into the pocket labeled IR. Secure a cap on that as well. Finally, take the other dark bulb of the PD cable in channel 1 and fit it into the pocket labeled REF. Orient it 90 degrees so it doesn't interfere with the bulb next to it. Fit the pocket cap on there as well. And put the rest of your pocket caps on as well. You should have something that looks like this. Our final step is to put the window cover on. Using four of the six millimeter screws, secure the window cover. Your completed setup should look like this. You did it, you've assembled a pyroreactor.